another thing that we can do with MIGen is visualize motion of physical models over time. GenDSP codes created with MIMS actually contain reference to a buffer called motion. And if we go to the end of the code, we'll actually see that uh, it tries to fill this buffer object with positions of the different modules. So if we want to use this, we have to create this buffer object in max. And we'll have to define the number of samples that it contains. So this will be the number of material points in our physical model. So two in the case of our basic oscillator. And now what we want to do is create something which will allow us to visualize this buffer over time. So we'll use the plot object and we'll make sure it refers to this motion buffer and we'll define the range to be between minus one and plus one because given the force impulse that we've sent to our physical model that should be the range of motion. So nothing's happening so far because we forgot one last thing and this is to tell the gen patch to actually display the motion. So it will only spend time filling this motion buffer if we ask it to. So if we set this to 1, we can actually see the first module moving. The second doesn't since it's a fixed point.